In this tutorial, we are going to work with polylines in Google Maps. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the complete Android developer course and the and master coding channel. We will continue with uh, learning how to create and customize the polylines in Google Maps. So first of all, what is polylines? The polyline class define a set of connected line segments on the map. A polyline object consists of a set of lat long locations and create a series of line segments that connect those locations in uh, an ordered sequence. So what does this mean? We are going now to the Android Studio and we will start making a polyline. So first of all on the map ready I will create here polyline polyline and we will start by polyline options this is for customization and I will create a, a one of rect option equal new polyline options and I will pass the data so what are this data as I told you this is a set of lat long so first of all i will pass my lat long that have i have created before which is called m1 now i will add another one lat long i will copy this lat long m2 and i will make it uh, like 25 20 sorry 25 and i will make it uh, 45 and I will copy also lat long I will uh, created it at as m4 m uh, sorry m3 and I will make it like 30 and here 50 which is lat long and I will create a lat long another lat long called m4 equal a new lat lat long and called 35 and 55 now i will add this collection of uh, or set of let long in the polyline options i will cre create also add m2 also add m3 and add m4 in this way we are going to add or we have added the uh, the options or the, the points uh, for the polyline that we have created so now polyline class I will create an object of it called polyline and my map 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 dot add here equal and call add polyline and I will pass rect options okay now Let's run our AVD virtual device and let's see the magic. So if you want to learn uh, and learn Android uh, coding and uh, master, uh, master uh, co uh, languages and coding languages, so you came to the right place, here we go. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit uh, for uh, five stars and hit like for us and rate us five stars on Udemy. So, and this is our line. It is passing like this. So let's create another one for called M5. Uh, I will create it, it as 60 and 100. Sorry, uh, 90. Let's see. So, guys, it's very okay. I I missed to add it here. M5. Okay. So, in this way, we are creating the uh, polyline. Okay. So, here we go. Let's see a minus uh, 40 and minus 80. 
let's see where we go okay guys it's New York Chile <laughs> okay it's the fastest and the simplest way to add the polyline to the maps now uh, one thing that I should uh, tell you about polyline options by default polylines are not cl cl clickable so you can enable and disable cl uh, the clickability by calling polyline.set clickable so polyline here polyline and we have many uh, many uh, methods with visible geodesic and clickable and here we go is clickable uh, and we pass through and is clickable and clickable now polyline you can receive on, uh, on uh, polyline click event so uh, is clickable we can click but we can uh, we can specify the clickability uh, uh, like like this it is clickable but we are not specifying what happens if we click on it so in order to do that we are uh, uh, we should implement the on on polyline click listener here and add implement the methods and specify the 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 click on polyline polyline click listener click listener on polyline click listener and we pass this Okay, Google Maps on Polyline, click listener and we pass this. Insert a new, comment the methods and click OK on Polyline. In this way, we can uh, Polyline click and we can remove this now. No. Okay. We have to remove this. And we can specify the polyline action here uh, when it is clicked. Okay. But uh, this is uh, not uh, usable in the future because uh, many apps do don't uh, use um, click listeners for the uh, polylines. Now, Let's see what another uh, another things for okay get and the set these are the these are the methods now uh, let us go back to the polyline options we can specify the color and we we uh, here we can add r dot color dot color accent. Let's see. We can change the color of the polyline. It is here. Dot primary. Let's see. It's not changed. Okay, because we need to specify the an int. Okay, let's copy the int from here. Okay, it's not working. We need to specify R dot color dot color primary. Let's see. Now we 
Maybe we need to reset them. Okay, it's working. The color. Now, we can specify also uh, like the width, the parent, the joint type, and the width I will uh, uh, should pass a uh, pass the uh, float. I will make it ten. Let's see what happens if uh, passing ten. Okay, it's bigger, and the shape, uh, the color is changed. Now uh, let's see. Let's add the clickable add and cap visible z index as i told you at the uh, alpha that the z index is uh, when you have uh, many uh, many shapes on the map the higher z index the, the uh, of the object it will be displayed in the forward position uh, over their uh, the other uh, objects like markers like uh, uh, shade it like uh, circles, like polylines and polygons. We'll see later in the uh, in the project. So, get points, and here are the classes and the methods. This is uh, the polyline in general, and um, it's a very uh, very uh, good uh, practice because we are going to see how to use them in later uh, and complex applications in uh, future so guys if you if you want to learn uh, uh, android coding and other uh, coding tutorials from zero to hero and become a real developer you came to the right place just rate us five stars on udemy you will get free coupons and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel so you get the free tutorials Thank you guys. If you want us to continue making tutorials, do subscribing and rating five stars. Thank you guys. See you in next videos about polygons, circles, and other shapes. Thank you. Thank you.